Well, hello, hello, hello. Today we're actually in my Porsche 911. I have an airbag light, so I'm just going to be uh, looking into that today and uh, making a small video of it. All right, as you can see, I have an airbag light uh, right down here. And uh, I came on uh, like about a week ago. Um, haven't noticed anything else, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, troubleshoot it. And I'm going to be using my uh, CarSoft uh, programmer in order to uh, see what the code is, see what sensor it is. Um, if it's just something that sometimes you'll, you know, you'll get a kick in voltage or something and it'll, it'll set it off. But I'm going to try to reset it and uh, we'll see if that uh, resolves the issue. All right, so I've gone ahead and uh, plugged the cable into here, and I will uh, search for down here. There should be a connector uh, right here. That's where your connector is. So that's where we're going to be connecting to. There you go. So you push that up, and we should get something here. So it'll start beeping. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit uh, diagnostic or diagnose. We're gonna hit the OK button. Now we're gonna go for this. We're gonna actually go actually go into the uh, Porsche menu. Hit OK, and we're gonna do uh, Porsche communicating. Now we're gonna go. This is a Porsche 997. Okay, from there, we're going to go to automatic. Now we're going to go to POSIP. So we're going to hit OK. And we're going to read the codes. Passenger airbag off light, short, circuit to B+. Plus. So it could be that uh, there's something wrong with the passenger's airbag off light. So that's actually that light here. Um, so I don't know. It might be a fuse. Or it might be something else. Let me see if this thing comes out. It does come out. It looks like it might be disconnected. Or broken. So something's going on with that thing. So we'll check it out okay so i don't know if this has anything to do with this um i had to pull this out i tried to pull this up and uh it just kind of came out easily so i guess it wasn't really clipped into there so i'm not sure if this is broken or if that's the way it's supposed to look um but it's kind of cracked um and unfortunately the part number is all torn up but i'm going to try to you know i got some small tweezers I was able to grab uh, this way and pull it out. I'm gonna try to put it back together and I really doubt this has anything to do with that because it's just a, pretty much a cover that's that's loose. So that shouldn't have anything to do with it. But either way, I'm gonna put it back together and see if uh, that will solve anything. Now these lights, if you can see them, the lights are kind of on, not all the way though. So. All right, so I'm getting a couple of different things here. Control unit communication engine electronics drive. Communication PCM control unit drive. Passenger airbag office. So I'm gonna hit X, escape, and we're gonna hit clear. Do you wanna clear DTCs? Yes, clear. So I'm gonna hit okay for yes succeeded to clear DTCs. Okay. No DTC, so we've just cleared them. So what we're gonna do now, that light's still on. I think we have to cycle the car on and off in order for them to clear. Now we're gonna turn it 
it off completely I open the doors usually i'd like to do sometimes it it clears certain things and now the airbag light is on and now it's off all right so we've gone ahead and cleared it and uh we hit read here no dtcs and the airbag light is off now so probably something maybe with that loose cover and this is still kind of loose i don't like how this is so i'm gonna have to put some double stick tape or something on under right underneath it um to keep it down but uh that was loose so i don't know if that would have caused anything it doesn't sound like it it's just like plastic being loose so i don't know why that would have caused it but um anyways that's how you can clear your airbag light now if it returns uh, if it comes back on again then i'm gonna have to troubleshoot it even more but uh for now with the uh, icarsoft uh you know reader oed2 scanner we could actually go ahead and uh reset that airbag light so the airbag light is reset and uh we're good to, you know for now and unless it happens again if it does then i'll go ahead and i'll make another video okay so that's going to be it for today you know hopefully if you have an airbag light on one of your porsches um this scanner will work um pretty much for all porsches i mean i'm not, not this particular model um i mean this one works for a whole bunch for the boxster came in uh 911 996 it works for a whole bunch of models just make sure um i'll put it i'll put a link in the description um just make sure that it works with your car it'll give you a list once you go to the link uh, to see if it's compatible with your vehicle but um that's how you can reset these uh, airbag lights um i don't know what triggered it it's the first time since i've had the car that that's ever come on so it could have been something where the seat was moved back and there was something on the seat um because there's a uh, pressure sensor on the passenger seat um it could have been that i'm not sure what it was but um either way i've reset it it's no longer on and uh hopefully um it won't come back on if it does come come back on then um, it'll just be another video of me trying to resolve which sensor has gone bad, but it looked like it's something to do with the passenger seat. So at least I know it's something on the inside. It's not on the outside of the car. Um, so that gives me a little bit more peace of mind because usually it's something just a sensor in the seat or some, uh, switch has kind of come unplugged or, you know, but, or um, it could be a fuse too. So anyways, we'll troubleshoot that if we, if it comes up again and, you know, we'll get down to that. But for now I've gone ahead and, uh, and uh, reset the airbag light and uh we're good to go so anyways if this helped you out um if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe um hit the like button notification bell any comments if this has happened to you or if you have had a uh, issue with the passenger with the same code with the passenger uh side airbag uh fault then uh, please go ahead and comment and let me know um if you had this issue so that if it comes up again i kind of have a better idea better you know better idea of what's going on um, so please share, you know, any, any experience, any knowledge that you have, um, with, you know, with my channel, with my community. So if you can just go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. Uh, thank you. And, uh, you all have a great day. Take care.